Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle four times. So let's start with what happened in the past. What were the problems and the challenges? Taking too slow to progress to the next step, being a dramatic connection, quite heavy, and lacking that initiative to move the connection to the next serious step, lacking trust there and hesitation a lot. Now let's see about the current energies for you, Scorpio. Even though you have attraction for them, you are resisting, you're holding back tightly, you think this is not the right time to approach them. You think a lot, you contemplate a lot, but you do miss them as well. You do miss, you do miss the good old times together with them. Now let's see about what may be affecting you in your subconscious. That this person may have not been quite mature in love, not focused, not taking charge of the situation or not being responsible uh, for their actions, for their behavior. They were not very determined and focused to be in this connection. Now let's see how do you view the situation with them. You see lots of overthinking there, contemplation, and maybe there's some insecurity that this connection may have ended completely. Maybe it is a finished cycle. Let's see more details. Your fear is that uh, you will be in this indecision mode or lacking the clarity that you you need lacking the clarity that you need to make a decision about the past you're hoping to get uh, new opportunities as well and your focus is to be connected with a special person a person that appreciates you back loves you back and where you feel at ease very comfortable in that connection now let's see what is the overall energy for scorpio for this reading Lots of waiting, wanting to remain single because of the conflicts of the past. Now let's see one more card from this deck about the overall energy. Message them. Let's see one more card. Yes. And you deserve better at the bottom. So I don't see them making the initiative to text you a message or call you immediately because they want to avoid the conflicts. They want to remain at least for the time frame of this reading single and independent and focus mostly in their job and career. So if you want to get some clarity and uh, if you want to have a conversation with them, maybe the right decision is to message them first. And at the bottom you had, you deserve better. So this is not the best for you. You deserve someone better. But because if you have some uh, questions maybe in your mind or you want to get some clarity uh, for the situation, you may need to message them and not wait so long because they may take their time and not approach you immediately so always uh, listen to your intuition but uh, i think you deserve better a better person than this one let's see uh, their current energies towards you
Yes, this person desires reconnection to, to see a progress in this communication. They want to talk, in fact, at, at least at this moment we are doing this reading. They want to send an apology or have a conversation, mostly a conversation that brings clarity. They want it. They are focusing on their job and their career as well. They want to be more serious now in a connection. Let's see, will they take actions? The High Priestess, here it is. Even though they want to talk, they are choosing not to do so. They think a lot about you, they are very attracted to you physically. And it may have been a marriage for some of you, or big dreams about getting married together. They want your attention, they want to heal the situation. For now they avoid you, even for the fact that they want to avoid another heartbreak. I will continue now this reading, in the extended with more details I will cover as well their current feelings for you, if any, and if you want to watch the extended, you can find it now in the description box below this video. See you the next reading and bye for now.